What is going on everyone? My name is Colin. Welcome to the Pokey Office. Today's video we are looking at PSA grading and whether it's worth it or not to send your cards in. So we're looking at some of the biggest hitters of Sword and Shield era and seeing the raw price, the PSA 9 price, and the PSA Gem Mint 10 pricing and whether it's actually worth it or not to send those cards in. So let's take a look and see what the data has to say. Okay, so we're going to look at the raw pricing versus the PSA 9 pricing versus the PSA 10 pricing on kind of all the big cards of Sword and Shield. I think I did it like over $80 or something like that. So uh, let's just get into it. it. I have quite a few slides here, so we're going to go pretty quick. But the first one is the Charizard V from Champion's Path. The raw card, $146.11. The PSA 9 is in the middle slot here at 151.75, uh, which is a 3.9% increase. But the big ones obviously is the Gem Mint 10s from PSA. The cost for this Charizard V is $302.93, which is 107.3% increase, so over double the price. Now, I took all of these prices from pricecharting.com, um, which seems to be a little bit lower than like TCG Player <clears throat> and some of the other market pricing things but it should still give us a good indication of what kind of increase you're looking at for PSA pricing if you get your cards graded. Okay, next is the other, the Charizard VMAX rainbow card from Champion's Path. So raw is sitting at 166.48, again, pretty low compared to some other sites. Uh, the PSA 9, 176.92, and the PSA Gem Mint 10, is $323.99, which is a 94.6% increase. So if you can get that Gem Mint 10, it looks like you're going to do pretty well on your investment. <clears throat> Next up, have the Pikachu VMAX, the Chunkachu uh, rainbow card from Vivid Voltage. So this one is raw, $119.18. Uh, for the PSA 9, it's $150, which actually is a pretty nice increase for a PSA 9. The Gem Mint 10 is $282, so over double, 136.7% increase, which is very nice. Uh, next up, we have Shining Fates Charizard VMAX. I actually just traded for this card not that long ago, but it didn't have perfect edging. It had a little bit of white spots, unfortunately. So the raw one, $91. The PSA 9 is $112.50, 23.6% increase, not too bad. Um, and the cost for a Gem Mint 10, $225.39. So it looks like we're starting to see a trend here. So the PSA 9s are kind of coming in at like 5 to 20% over, maybe a little bit more. But generally, from what I can see, a PSA 9 basically covers enough of your cost that it might still be worth it to take the risk of paying PSA to grade your card because that's like a $20 to $30 cost, depending on what you do. Um, whereas if you can get a gem in 10, you are kind of like in the realm of doubling your card value, which is awesome. Okay. Next up, we have battle styles, the sleepy Tyranitar V $96 and nine cents for the raw card, $107 50 cents for the mint nine, which again, basically, well, it actually doesn't even quite cover your cost of grading. And $220 for the Gem Mint 10, which is, again, over double the price at 128.9% increase. Okay, Snorlax, I have this one in hand. I'm going to show you a tool that I bought on Amazon afterwards, and we're going to look at this card. Uh, current cost for this one, $77 raw, $92 for a Mint 9, which doesn't quite cover the cost of the grading fee but $167.31, which is 117.3% increase for that Gem Mint 10, which is a beauty. Okay, next up, we have the Glarian Moltres. I also have this card, hoping to get it graded because it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, raw is $111.50. The Mint 9 is $144. So this actually has a nice increase for the Mint 9, 29.1%, uh, which actually does cover your cost of grading. And cost for a PSA Gem Mint 10, $287.43, which is 157.8% increase, which is a big increase. That's a nice hit if you can get the Gem Mint 10 in this card. Next, another Chilling Rain one. Chilling Rain is so good. Uh, Blaziken VMAX, $150.31. Raw, which is just a gorgeous card. I wish I could pull it. 
Then we have $159.47, which is a very small increase for that PSA 9, which doesn't cover your cost of grading. Uh, but if you get the Gem Mint 10, it goes up to $280, which is an 86.3% increase, which is actually quite low based on what else we've seen so far, but still a nice increase. <clears throat> Okay, we're into Evolving Skies, which of course has a ton of cards that can get graded for a good value. First one is the Rayquaza V, $73. In the Mint 9, it's $83.63, not covering that PSA grading fee. Uh, cost for the Gem Mint 10, $193.74, which is 165.4% increase, which is a very nice increase. We're going to move quick through these. Embryon is uh, 82.79 for the raw card, 95 for the mint nine, and 204.99 for the gem mint ten. That's a very nice increase on the gem mint ten for this one. Uh, Dragonite, ninety dollars, ninety nine dollars for the mint nine, ten percent increase, two hundred nine dollars, one hundred thirty two percent increase on the gem mint ten, which is sweet. Sylveon V Max. I have this card, which I'm hoping to get graded. But this one is a little bit less. It's uh, only a 14.4% increase for the Mint 9. Uh, barely covers the cost of grading. And then 78.6% uh, increase for the Gem Mint 10. So not even doubling your money, but still a nice card. Okay, we're on to the Glaceon VMAX. Uh, same thing as the Sylveon VMAX basically covers your cost of grading for the Mint 9 at 18.2% increase and then increases 83.2% to 255.81 for the Gem Mint 10. <clears throat> Leafeon, we're seeing similar numbers all across the board here in Evolving Skies. So 133 raw, 25.6% increase. So you actually make a tad bit of money here if you get a Mint 9, but you make 87.4% increase, uh, $250 card in Gem Mint 10. Two more in Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies has so many hitters. Uh, the Rayquaza VMAX, $269.51 for it. raw an 8.5% increase. But when we're talking about big numbers like this, that actually equates to like uh, 20 bucks or whatever. So bar barely covers the cost of the PSA grading and then a 62.1% increase. So actually a small increase, but it's still a nice, uh, nice value dollar wise increase at $437 and one cent for the gem mint 10. And last, of course, we have the Moonbrion, which is, insanely priced. I still can't get over it. $545 right now for the raw card, $569. So a small increase for the mint nine, the gem mint 10, $984.38, which is an 80.6% increase. But considering that it's a $550 card, that's a very nice money increase for you. Okay. On to celebrations. We have the Charizard um, classic collection from base set. I love this card. Uh, 81.51 for it raw, $105, which is actually a really nice increase for the Mint 9. And then the Gem Mint 10, we have $233.50, which is a big increase of 186.5%. Crazy. Okay, now we have the Espeon. I pulled this one about a month ago from Fusion Strike, which is absolutely epic. Uh, $148.83 in it raw. The Mint 9 is $157, so it doesn't even cover the cost of grading. And then $325, so a nice increase of 118.4% for the Gem Mint 10. One more from Fusion Strike. We have the Gengar VMAX, which is $175.04, raw $191.97. So a small increase in the Mint 9, and then $394.82. So again, more than doubling at 125.6% increase for the Gem Mint 10. So if you get a Gem Mint 10, obviously you're loving life. <clears throat> Next up, we're into Brilliant Stars, the Charizard V-Star Rainbow card. Love this one too, uh, but man, has the market crashed on this one. It was a really expensive card when Brilliant Stars first came out. And now it's down to $75 raw, $95.51, which actually is a pretty nice increase for that Mint 9. And the Gem Mint 10 up 161.7% to 196.25, which is nice. Gem Mint 10's crushing it all the time. Then we're into the Charizard V, which is $139.25 raw, $168. So again, a nice increase on the Mint 9's here for this card. 
uh, and then a big increase, 164.3% into $368 for the Gem Mint 10. Astro Radiance just has one that we're going to cover, the Machamp V Alt Art, which is $97.29 raw, uh, $127.97 for the Mint 9, which is a big increase, actually, 31.5% which is nice, that will cover your cost of grading. Uh, and then if you get the Gem Mint 10, it's $254.68, which is 161.8% increase. Lost Origin has two, we have the Aerodactyl V, which has $116.98 raw, 137.23, so uh, barely covering your grading fee, depending on what deal you get on PSA. 17.3% increase and the Gem Mint 10, $305. So again, 160.7% increase, nice. Okay, last one of Lost Origin, the Giratina V. This one is uh, beautiful, $296.57 raw, a small increase, barely anything, 2.9% for the Mint 9. And then 138.3% increase for, for the Gem Mint 10 at sitting at $706.72 which is very nice. Last card we're covering today, uh, $175.49 for this Lugia V Alt Art Raw. Uh, small increase of 13.9% to $200 for the Mint 9 and 122.2% increase for the Gem Mint 10 sitting at $390, absolutely crazy. Okay, take a look at this last slide here. Average increase for the PSA 9 out of all the cards that I just went over. 15.7%. So if you see the value of the card that you want to get graded, just add 15.7% to it. So multiply it by 1.157. And then you will see what the average value is of that card. You can also just go look it up on price charting. Uh, the average increase for the PSA 10s is over double. So 126.14%. So if you have cards that you think can get a PSA 10 gem mint, uh, then obviously I think it's worth it to do it. But then if your cards don't get the Gem Mint 10, they get the PSA 9, uh, then you're actually probably losing a little bit of money or at least breaking even. But then if you get the Near Mint 8, then you're probably losing money. So it definitely is a risk. I think it's important to actually take a really close look at the cards, only send in the ones, especially if you're just doing it for investment. If you're doing it just for collection, it doesn't matter so much because then you're just loving the hobby. If you're doing it for trying to improve your card's values, then definitely take a look. So we're going to look at a tool that I just bought, and then we got some Evolving Skies packs to open. Let's flip it around. Okay, so let me know if you thought that was interesting or not. If you're here, uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more Pokemon content. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I come out with new videos and hit the like button for me so it gets out to more people. I really appreciate you watching. Let's uh, take a look. I have the Gold Snorlax from Chilling Rain and we're gonna take a look at the tool I'm using. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this well. I think you can on the camera. It's a parad or passive paradise card centering tool. And this one is made actually specifically for Pokemon. Bought it on Amazon. I'm gonna put a picture here on the screen real quick of what you can do, but just search passive paradise card grading. I think it's like 18 or 19 bucks, which isn't too bad, um, especially if you're gonna be grading cards. And now I have the gold Snorlax here. So basically, I've watched videos on this, and again, I'm no expert, I've never sent cards into PSA, but soon I will be doing that once I have enough um, that I wanna send in. But you can kind of put the card in the background, line it up here, hard to do on the camera here, but you can line it up and actually like, you can start to see uh, if it's on center or not. And this one actually looks like pretty solid. If you can see it, it's on like the dotted line there, uh, on the dotted line. So left to right centering looks really good. Top to bottom, I don't know if it's actually, so it's there. So maybe a little bit off top to bottom, uh, but it's a pretty cool card and then this package also comes with this little magnifying glass to look at the card. So let's just take it out of the sleeve here real quick. Um, again, you're looking for any deficiencies. I don't think this is gonna come through the camera very good, so I might just leave that, but you can kind of just see if I can actually get it here. Yeah, so it kind of works. You can see that it's like actually zooming in. 
Um, so I would recommend like you're actually physically checking lots of the card for any defects. Uh, that's going to be a tedious process that I'm not going to take you through on the channel here. But that's a tool that can be kind of cool to measure your cards, whether or not it's worth grading them. So I'd recommend that if you want. The link is down below in the description if you want to take a look. Now, I have some Evolving Skies packs. There are so many Evolving Skies cards that you can grade on there. Uh, so let's just, I want to hit one. I, I mean, I want to hit the moon drop, of course, but uh, let's see what we can do here. So yeah, let me know though. Are you, uh, have you ever sent cards in for grading? Um, man, it's also weird because Scarlet and Violet just came out and I just opened my first packs of them and now we're back to the yellow borders. It is weird. It's going to be crazy actually. I've got something in the back right off the bat. Three, two, one. Umbreon V baby! Yes sir! That is huge. That is one of the ones we just looked at. Are you kidding me? First pack. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. These packs. Are you serious? Let's go. It is not the Umbreon VMAX, but it is the Umbreon V Altar. My goodness. Ah, well, that's a video. Are you serious right now? I don't even know if I want to keep opening them, but maybe we'll get another one. Holy crap. That is too good. Are you serious right now? Come on now. Hit that like button for me. I just pulled one of the biggest cards out of Evolving Skies. I can't believe it. Uh, well, that one's gonna be sent in for grading. I gotta take a closer look at it at some point, but uh, on first like quick glance, it looks pretty good. Holy cow. So these Evolving Skies, you know, I did a video on the Costco mini tins. So these Evolving Skies packs came out of those as well. Um, yeah. And from what I've seen in like Facebook groups and online, people are having some serious success with those Costco mini tins. So I'm hoping that, well, I mean, I've already pulled the Espeon V and now the Umbreon V out of it. So, yeah, that's epic, is the thing I can say the most. Arctivish V. Oh, man, I am uh, shaken. That is epic. What an epic way to start the video. Umbreon V Altar. Are you serious right now? What's that card valued at? Like, I think 90 bucks, something like that. Might be a little bit less than that, but uh, it is a very, very nice card. And, and do I love Evolving Skies, especially when you pull the huge hits. The evolutions are just epic. Epic, 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 come on. Um, and coming up soon, as I'm recording this, like I'm just, I have this awesome video planned and I was hoping to keep it a secret, but I just can't anymore. So if you're still watching, you get in on the goods. I'm doing a video of, I'm gonna open three packs of every Sword and Shield era, like ushering in the new era of Pokemon into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So I ordered packs uh, and I'm just waiting for them in the mail. Like, so I'm gonna have everything, like Sword and Shield base, Rebel Flash, um, all of them, including the specialty sets like Champion's Path, Shining Fates, Celebrations. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. And then obviously we'll end that with a couple Scarlet and Violet packs. But man, sometimes like when you're waiting for the mail, it feels like forever. But I am pumped about that Umbreon. Man, I am pumped about that Umbreon. Are you serious? So, haven't pulled any of the VMAXs, but those tins, I've gotten the, well, the Umbreon V now, and the Medicham V, which isn't as good, but still epic. And I got the, 
Espeon V, which is also epic. But the Espeon V has a bit of a nick in it, so like the back of the card has a little bit of damage, so that one definitely is not a Gem Mint 10 contender, so I'm not sure I'll end up sending that one in for grading, but and after the first pack here, it's like <laughs> kind of been a slow, slow packs of cards, but oof, almost choked on that one, but I didn't. All right, come on, baby. You gotta get something. Let's go. Oh, we got something in the back again. Oh man, three, two, one. Garbodor VMAX Rainbow. I've already pulled this one. That is a double hit of a rainbow card. Ugh. And not my favorite Pokemon. Why couldn't it be like the Sylveon or something? That's okay. Rainbow cards are good. Rainbow cards are good. But no more rainbow cards in Scarlet and Violet, which... I think actually is a nice change of pace to be honest with you and and so far from what I've been seeing Scarlet and Violet pull rates have been epic like my buddy Josh has opened six booster boxes and he only needs something like 20 cards left to complete the set so I don't know how people feel about that like if you're if you like completing sets I think there's a lot to be said that's good where you have a legit chance without like opening a million packs. But for the money side of things, that might bring the value of the cards down quite a bit because it just seems like easy pull rates. Glaceon V, there's another evolution. Wish it was the uh, altar, but that's okay. Love getting hits in Evolving Skies. Anytime you can get a hit in Evolving Skies, things are looking Delicious. Yeah, so um, I don't know what else to say here. I'm just still kind of speechless that I pulled the Umbreon V. Um, <laughs> and I'm just on autopilot. But looking forward to the next era of Pokemon. Uh, the cards feel different too. Like, I don't know if you've opened any. Scarlet and Violet yet, but the cards feel different. I don't know if they're using like a different thing, different stock on the cardboard, or if maybe it's just my imagination, no idea. But uh, I'm loving everything about it. This is the last pack of Evolving Skies. Has been not epic after that first pull, but the first pull was as epic as can be. So how do you complain about that? Um, yeah, let me know again. Leave a comment if you like the content, if I should uh, do more of the PSA stuff. Hopefully I'll be grading cards soon because I think like you need 20 of them to get the good deal that PSA has to offer. And I think I'm at like 15 that I want to send in. So pretty soon I will be doing a video on that. Uh, this is the last card in three, two, one. Raichu Regular Hollow. So, nothing crazy in that last pack, but man, oh man, oh man, we uh, have to put that one at the last, last slot to check these out. We got the Arctivish V, pulled it a few times. Garbodor VMAX Rainbow Card. We got the Glaceon V, regular art, and we pulled the Umbreon V, alt art. What a ridiculously amazing and sexy card that is. Let's take a closer look here. Uh, I mean... I think that's just uh, the speck of dust. That, that looks really, really good. I think the centering on first glance looks really nice. Um, I don't see any white name. That's looking like a very nice card, uh, which is epic. So that's gonna do it here at the Pokey Office. My name is Colin, I appreciate you watching. Uh, man, I just pulled the Umbreon V, are you kidding me? That's amazing. Um, that one will definitely be going to PSA for grading. Hope you enjoyed the content and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.